No snow up there anymore. Probably some in pockets though. Those mountains get little tiny glaciers that are there most of the year, if not all year. I didn't think that early snow we got would last. Pretty warm today. Cindy's uh, weather station blew off the posts and broke. <laughs> so I don't really know what the temperature is. We gotta get our new one, maybe for Christmas. Not. Anyway, good morning folks. Not sure what the plan is for today. Just got yesterday's firewood unloaded. And along with that row, I don't know how much that is. That's probably at least 40 foot long and 5 foot high. Just one single row. Probably at least a couple cord there. Anyway, we got two rows outside the first shed now. Well, not quite two rows. A row and three quarters. Or not first shed either. <laughs> uh, I'm confused today. It's my wood shed, not the first shed. I've been thinking about trapping all morning. But, uh, that's probably all the firewood we're going to need for the winter. But my uncle is not able to get any more for himself. He's having troubles. I might try to go get him a little bit. And I feel a little guilty about that trailer I bought for 200 bucks. And I had things worth a lot more than that. I might bring them a quarter quarter cord or so too if I get time but anyway I'm not going to give up on firewood just yet the, even though we, we got enough there's always a head jump on to next year if I can get some for next year and be a little bit ahead of the game I don't have to do quite as much next year so Cindy says it's lunch now we're going to go on in and do that and go from there I've been Needing to clean out the back of my truck, a lot of this stuff, tools and things, have been collecting since fair time and get all that stuff out of there so I can actually use my truck bed again. And I want to do a little bit of welding on my traps and I want to put a front hitch on this truck also. What you doing, Cindy? I am building cord clothes. Making what? The corn family. Corn family. Yeah, the corn family. And I'm making them out of these are field corn. And I have a friend that brought me a bunch up. And so I got Mrs. Corn and the two little corns. Where? Over there on the wood pile. <laughs> Very neat. I think your goose wants some corn. I threw corn out there for him. I think yeah. he wants some more. Well, he's just going to have to wait. The two corn that are on that stump are for the um, little um, chipmunk that's been coming around. Oh. So, so what I have to do once I get done with the corn family, so I'll bring them to the other side of the... Um, yard and I'll tie them to the fence. Very neat. I like the little bib overalls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. What? I haven't tied them up yet, so you think it looks good that way? I like it, yeah. <laughs> Where did you come up with this idea? You just thunk it up? <laughs> yeah. I like the corn stalks, but, you know, most people just gather them together, just put them in a bunch. But I thought, you know, there's got to be something else to do. And I thought about make this is the corn stalk family. Mom, so, dad, sister, brother. So what are their names? The Cornstock family? No. <laughs> I think that one looks like a Chester.
she does. I don't know what the girl, Tina. There you go, Tina. And, you know, mom. Yeah. Sally. Sally Scarecrow. Sally, the corn family mother. There you go. And I don't know, James for the dad, I guess. <laughs> or um, Clarence. Clarence, there you go. Sally, Clarence, Tina, Chester. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> so those clay pumpkins, I've had those forever. I don't remember where I even bought them from, but I've never seen them ever again. Uh-uh, I haven't either. <laughs> Very cool. You filming me again. So, Clarence fell over a bit last night. I think he had too much to drink. Looks like it. He was kind of stooped. <laughs> stooped or stewed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think these are neat. Good idea, Cindy. Doesn't want to give the wrong impression that people that go by. I guess. <laughs> At least he's not mooning them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought of that, but really none of my pumpkins are really ready for anything like that yet. <laughs> <laughs> And he's gathering ga grass for her scarecrows and things. <laughs> uh, she's going to make straw people or something. grass Cindy got yesterday wasn't for her straw people, her corn people. So what what did you do, Cindy Lou? So I have some birch bark hangers, and um, they're actually two different sizes, which I didn't mean, I didn't realize. And that one, this one here is larger, wider, and doesn't have a liner in it. So that one was kind of hard to do. So what I did is all the grass I picked, I made these fall, basically fall. I'll hang them up outside. So take them out of the bucket, see what they look like. I'm still working on them. They're, they're hanging, hanging baskets of weeds, yeah. <laughs> but they're cool. So, um, as you can tell, this one doesn't have a liner in it, which was okay. Yeah, I kind of like them poking out the bottom. Yeah. Um, some of it, a lot of this stuff I grew a couple years ago and just kind of had it hanging around. I knew sooner or later I would use it. Yeah. And then there's this one. This one I think is a little smaller, but, and it has a plastic liner in it. Huh. Very neat. She takes care of the flowers at the bank and worked in a greenhouse for years and years and did some flower arrangements for another place. And I don't know, she's always doing something. Takes the, she's the flower superintendent at the fair. This right here is Chinese lanterns. Um, they, they produce these little lanterns right here. They have a little, or they call them ground cherries. You can't really eat them. Um, if you want a plant that you don't care where if it spreads, get these Chinese lanterns. They'll spread everywhere. Or them hops. We had yeah. troubles with those. Yeah. They, they kind of took over. So. Very neat. Along with my corn people, my Mr. and Mrs. Cornstalk and all the little cornstalks. So, getting ready for fall. And by the way, winter solstice is 87 days away from today. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta hurry up. <laughs> Those turned out pretty neat.
than these buckets of weeds. And then she stole one of my backpacks. It doesn't have any straps on it, but I was going to put straps on it. It's waterproof, kind of a rubberized canvas. She stole that and hung it on the fence. Hung it on the gate. All her fall harvest stuff. So Gary and I are still fighting over his other backpack. Personally, I think I should do it. To I don't think so. To put little horns on it. He wants to put his thing. It would look perfect. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you folks tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. I don't know if you can have that one. I think so. <laughs> we'll fight about that. <laughs> I think I should have it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, I heard Gary and I still fighting over that backpack, but a friend of mine stopped by. She buys my eggs from me every now and then, and she tells me she drives by slowly, and it looks like our house is um, home and garden special. And I tell her, no, it's just modern hillbilly. <laughs> Which is better at home than garden any day. Yeah, everybody be on my side. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good backpack. I don't want you. Well, I don't know. It's not going to get ruined. It probably my won't. God. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the backpack she wants to use. It's one of those Trapper Nelson pack boards. It's in pristine condition. I mean, it's... Yeah, you can't get any better than that. I was going to strap a gold pan to it or some furs or something. Have you ever seen those uh, those deer mounts and things that they're doing now with the, they're stuffed, but it looks like a, a freshly shot animal on a backpack, and that's kind of what I picked this up for. But I don't know; she might be able to do it for a little while. <laughs>